हाय गाइस वेलकम टू आओ बातें करें पूजा हियर सो सिट बैक एंड रिलैक्स एंड एंजॉय दिस वीडियो 21 दिसंबर 2020 दिस इज द डेट ऑफ द ग्रैंड कंजक्शन ऑफ सैटन एंड जुपिटर well some of you all must be wondering what is the big fuss what is it all about so as i always do let me explain to you the simplified version to understand the importance or the uniqueness of this conjunction let us first understand these two planets saturn and jupiter are very very powerful planets with their own unique strength their characters their capabilities to influence us so let's start our journey of understanding these two planets and as i have always said the more you understand astrology the more interesting it gets the more you fall in love with it let us begin with the planet saturn many people get very scared when they hear about saturn because saturn is a serious planet it is a planet which believes in hard work which gets your result in a delayed way it is a task master saturn makes you learn lessons in life and in whichever house it is in that house you will learn your lessons saturn takes 28 to 30 years to complete its one cycle around the 12 houses you can even go and check my video on the simplified versions of the 12 houses so in each house saturn stays for about 2 to 3 years on an average now i'm sure many of you all must be wondering where is saturn today <laughs> where is saturn in which house is saturn today during the time of pandemic well saturn is in capricorn it is in the 10th house and it's in capricorn saturn is also the ruler of capricorn and aquarius Aquarius is ruled by two planets Saturn and Uranus So Saturn was in Capricorn in the house of work hard rules regulation taskmaster 
and it was very very comfortable in its own house <laughs> planets also move forward retrograde during their period in one house so i will be making a video on that separately that is a very very vast topic which i will explain to everybody at some another time saturn is entering aquarius on 18th december 2020 whichever house saturn is placed in or situated in or staying in it will bring you work hardship or make you work in that department and if you do the hard work then you will get the most positive results but if a person avoids doing the hard work then there is trouble negativity a tower moment a simple example is suppose if saturn is in your 7th house 7th house is the house of partnership it can be the partnership of two people in marriage or it can be your business partnership so it will make you work or show you the seriousness or the situations in the partnership that you are avoiding to see the work which has to be done you are avoiding to do maybe your business partner has been cheating on you for a long time so during this time of saturn you will start seeing glimpses that you have been cheated on a person can take it in a negative way or a positive way he can feel bad that he has cheat he has been cheated or there is his he will have to look for a new partner how will he go about with the business how will he deal with this partner how should he stop him or if you take it in a positive way this is a problem area which has been highlighted you have to work upon it do the task to get the results now let us talk about jupiter jupiter is the planet opposite to saturn wherever jupiter is it expands so saturn is a planet which restricts closure structure binding bonding that is all saturn whereas jupiter is expansion growth flourishes encourages jupiter takes 12 years to finish its cycle around the 12 houses so in each house it is for one year Jupiter is entering Aquarius on 19th December 2020. So on 21st these planets will conjunct each other. 
we will be closest to each other jupiter rules sagittarius and pisces pisces is also ruled by neptune so it is most happy and comfortable when it is in the sagittarius house and or or in the pisces so as i have told you guys before whichever house jupiter is it expands so if it's in your third house for a year it will expand your thinking your thought process your communication you will start talking more or expressing more clearly your relationship with your siblings will improve you will meet each other more often maybe old misunderstandings are sorted out at this time due to communication and talking and suppose jupiter is in sag it's the ruler it's his own house so sag deals with long distance travel so maybe for that one year you all get lot of travel plans you all make lot of travel plans you all get lot of chances to go abroad maybe from that in that year you are selected to uh, be the head of an international office of yours maybe there is a cousin's wedding and you go get to go to that wedding which is in europe maybe it's in london maybe it's in, it's in us so it expands your long travels sagittarius also rules with philosophy your thought process speaking the truth and obviously long travels so saturn and jupiter together try and build our lives in the best possible way they are also called as the architects to build anything you know we all need a plan some structure some formatting which saturn provides and we need imagination flexibility growth which jupiter provides so when these two go hand in hand along with our hard work we can plan or make the most beautiful lives for ourselves so it is very important that these two architects are meeting each other in the same sign this meeting happens after nearly 20 years and in the next 200 years these two signs these two architects are going to meet only in the air signs so that is aquarius gemini and libra so for the next 200 years we are entering the new era the era of 
एयर साइंस सम पीपल आर ऑल्सो कॉलिंग इट द न्यू आयरा ए आई आर ए बिकॉज इट्स द एरा ऑफ द एयर साइंस बिफोर दिस वी वर इन द अर्थ साइंस थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग गाइज I hope you all liked and enjoyed this video. Please like and share this with family and friends and do subscribe to my channel. Signing off for now. See you again with another video. Till then, be kind to each other. Talk to friends and family. स्टे कनेक्टेड एक दूसरे से बातें करते रहिए अपनों से जुड़े रहिए हैव अ ग्रेट डे गाइस टेक केयर बाय बाय